This is Hydrogen Tap. What we're going to do here today is try to figure out whether it's better to use tubes or better to use plates. My plates are stainless steel. Their tubes are stainless steel. I'm using 15 plates in this particular system. That's a 3L. Most of the systems that we see, they're using between three and five tubes. The question is whether or not they have, they have more area than I do. Matter of fact, I've gotten a lot of people say they do. There's one of my plates. In those tubes that we're looking at there, they're representative of the stainless steel. One tube is about one inch across, and the other is an inch and a half. What we're doing is looking at their tubes thinking that there's an eighth of an inch between the tubes. And we're going to show five of their tubes and find out whether they have more area than the 15 plates that I'm using. It's in my idea that there's no way. Most of the letters that I've received on this have been questions or a few that have told me that I'm totally wrong, that their three or five tube system has more area than mine simply because the tubes have more area. We're going to check that out. You can see this is approximate what you normally see in the videos. It's about an eighth of an inch between the tubes. Just picture three more with a total of five tubes. That's what we're going to figure out using the math. I hate math. The other thing I don't like is taking other people's word for anything. That's the reason for these tests. That's why I'm going as slow as I'm going. I've gotten a lot of mail asking, well, when are you going to install this in the car? I'm going to install it in the car again. This will be the second installation. When I get the answers I need to make it right. The 3L is going to be the system I put in my car because I can do so much with it. This is a system that I've been selling. This is the system that I'm using. The 3L will do everything I need it to do as far as adding hydrogen with the gasoline. And we'll go on from then and make that and refine that as perfect as we can. Then we'll go on. Hopefully, we'll be able to run the car on straight hydrogen. So here are the numbers. We're going to use five of their tubes. Tube one is one inch. You take that one inch and multiply it times pi, 3.14. And we're going to imagine each tube is six inches long. So we take that and multiply it times six, which comes to 18.84. That's pi times six equals 18.84. That's a one inch tube. The second tube is an inch and a half. And we're going to multiply that times pi. And then multiply that times 6. That's 6 inches. Length comes to 28.26. That's the area. You don't have to write this number down, or you can. What I'm going to do is add them up for you when we're through. That's tube number 2. Let's go to tube number three. We're going to make that two inches. Gives us an eighth of an inch between them. Multiply that times pi. That gives us 6.28. Multiply that times the length, which is six inches. It gives us 37.68. Let's go to tube four. It's two and a half inches by times 3.14 equals 
multiply times 6 is 47, 10. Tube number 5, the last tube, is 3 inches. Multiply that times pi, 3.14 equals 9.42. We multiply that times the length, which is 6. It's 56.52. If we add all those together, it comes to 188.40. That's the area. Now let's take my plates. The plates are 3 by 6, 3 inches by 6 inches. We multiply those two together to get the area. We multiply that times 15, which is how many plates we have, and the answer is 270 square inches. Their five tubes came to 188.40. My 15 plates is 270. And I believe that's the answer we're looking for. Now you want to add more tubes to my 15 plates, you're going to eventually get a higher number. But I can also add more plates because I can make the plates thinner. Making thinner tubes is impractical. And there are the numbers.